great and I'm healthy, so it's really not it's not the worst idea. Um, last thing, you mentioned in the cage that uh, there were some other things kind of going on in your life before this fight. I don't mean to pry, but uh, do you want to let us in on any of uh, that stuff? You know, I, it was one of those things I really didn't, leading up to the fight, I really didn't want to say anything that's going on because I don't want anybody thinking that like I'm making excuses before the fight because I feel like life happens to anybody no matter what we all have things going on in our life and we have to learn how to balance them for fighters we have to be able to do that and I mean I, I'm, I'm open to talking about it my father had a stroke uh, about three and a half weeks ago he's doing great so that's what we're pumped about <laughs> But it's definitely been a balance. Holly, question for you over here to your left. Right up, right up here. There you go. So if you were to fight in New Mexico, and for your next fight, do you think 45 might be something you prefer? You made the cut again to 35. It's not an easy one. Do you feel like you want to stay at 35, or is 45 something that might interest you? Um, you know, I feel comfortable going to 35. Yeah, i got to cut a little more weight to go to 35, but I don't ever get in there and feel gassed out or that I drop too much or, you know, I think that a lot of people, they, they, they cut a lot of weight to make it and then they feel like they're gassed out. And I feel like, you know, I've had a pretty long career. Um, I don't even know how many fights I've had total, but it's like 55 or 56 or something like that. And, you know, for as many times as I cut weight, I'm 38 years old. I, I don't feel like I get in there feeling like I got gassed out. I feel fine. So, um, you know, 135, I feel like if, if you can make that weight and you feel fine, then it's probably where your home should be. But I'm not against, you know, fighting at 145. I still know that I'm strong enough to fight at 145, and I still feel like I'm a big enough fighter for 45. So it's not that I'm stuck at one or the other, but 135, I, I feel it's maybe more my home, but I'm open. You are the only world boxing champion who's become a UFC champion. There's a lot of talk from boxers about coming and jumping into this game. Clarissa Shields is talking about wanting to come in and test uh, Amanda Nunez. Can you give your opinion on how long it'll take a pure boxer, even at the elite level, to jump in here and uh, be able to handle themselves in it? I say it takes time. It takes map time because even if you learn everything, you can learn every technique there is, but how do you really react when it's live time to do it? And I think that one thing that made it easier for me to transition is that my amateur career was kickboxing. My first boxing fight was my first pro fight. It was one of those things like, nobody really wants to fight right now. We got to fight for you, but it's just going to be boxing. Oh, and it's pro. And I was like, okay. And I used to literally rely on just kicking. If you saw my amateur kickboxing films, I literally just kicked them the whole time. I had no boxing. So I had to like learn this love for boxing. And th but then going into MMA, I had that background. And my entire boxing career has been out of the same gym. So it was very familiar to me in between boxing camps. I would kind of keep box West hard sometimes. So I feel like the transition was a little more familiar for me than most people it would be. Because my coaches, I mean, Greg Jackson's worked in my boxing corner. So I've always been around that. So I feel like the transition maybe was a little bit easier for me. With that being said, Clarissa Shields is obviously a champ in like, I think three different weight classes. She's 24 and she's done this much already. How do you get there? It's from hard work, determination, belief in yourself and skill. And so if she's done that, we'll see what happens. But I definitely think that, you know, um, there's a, it's a different game. So it just takes time. The time, can it be done in six months or a year, or would you think more like two or three years, if you had to say? I would say it takes time. However, I'm one of those that thinks you can do anything. I, I said I'm going to leave boxing and start a whole new career, and I'm going to be champion. Everybody's like, okay, whatever. And I was able to do that, and I'm still pushing.
the taste of the win, but you know you could have done so much more, of course I want to get back in there.